What a 2020 the BBC had. It's a year in which much complained about BBC Newsnight's opinions on Dominic Cummins, the Prime Minister's advisor, were presented as fact. Podcasts were released on white women being privileged Karens. Our patriotic anthems like Rule Britannia risked cancellation. Dawn French's Vicar of Dibley took the knee to the Black Lives Matter movement. The same movement that the BBC dismissed the violent protests of in our capital city as largely peaceful, even after almost 30 police officers were injured. And a comedian's remarks on Kill Whitey were shrugged off without a second thought. And that's just naming a few of my particular favourites. New research by YouGov, then perhaps unsurprisingly, has found that nearly half of Britons think that the BBC no longer represents their values, amid declining levels of trust in the broadcaster, particularly outside London. This is all coming from the Times newspaper. According to the paper, over the past year, a third of the public have said that the values of the BBC have become less like theirs. Only 33% now reckon that it represents their standpoint. And it's hardly surprising to me, folks, if we take one issue, for example, like Brexit, in which the majority of the country voted for it in 2016, and let's not forget, to get it done in 2019, Boris Johnson turned some seats blue that have never been blue in their entire existence. Yet every single story about Brexit, which has majority support, and you see programme after programme on the BBC, there's a majority of Remain campaigners on them, former Remain campaigners, advocates of Remain, presented on its political programmes. And whenever there's a positive story to tell about Brexit and what the UK's doing with the new powers it's regained post-Brexit, it always comes with this despite Brexit caveat. And it's also no surprise that the BBC doesn't appeal to those outside of London. You know, it's chai latte sipping Jeremy Corbyn voting staff clearly don't know how to appeal to those who don't think like them. Those who quite like their country. Those who quite like Brexit. The only diversity problem that the BBC has, which by the way, it's spending vast sums of money on. Its diversity guru, June Sarpong, now works for the BBC three days a week on a cool 75,000 quid salary. She recently spoke to The Telegraph about white privilege, arguing that unfairness is baked into our system. But folks, as you well know, the only diversity problem that the BBC has is that there's hardly a single Brexit vote and culturally conservative, non-degree educated person on its programmes. There's hardly a comedian to the right of Chairman Mao on its shows. It seems to rub our faces in this fact at every opportunity, as evidenced by the way in which it teamed up with Sadiq Khan to help display his anti-Brexit and pro-BLM firework display on New Year's Eve at a time when we needed some optimism. We need to hear old Lang Syne, which we never did by the way, we needed to hear some cheer and optimism after a year as hellish as 2020. And the defund the BBC campaign, by the way, is the fastest growing movement I've ever supported and campaigned for. That's why I say that these polls do not surprise me at all. People are finally starting to realise, and let us know in the comments if you agree with this, that the BBC isn't impartial and it doesn't represent their views or culture, and actually it seems to actively dislike them. This renders the BBC's funding model completely unsustainable. It's a regressive, antiquated model. It's absurd that we should be forced, with the threat of prison, to pay for this content if we want to watch live telly elsewhere. And if, as advocates of the BBC would have us believe, the BBC serves a great unifying purpose and it's great value for money and you, Grimesy, you're wrong, well, let's make 2021 the year we decriminalise non-payment of the licence fee. And we'll watch, folks, we'll watch people vote with their feet, or rather, vote with their direct debits. I'm Darren Grimes for Reasoned UK. Reasoned relies upon grassroots donations from people like yourself that want us to continue producing our high-quality, free-thinking content. So please do consider clicking the link and donating, no matter how big, no matter how small, because it really does ensure that we can keep on keeping on.